más con nosotros. Si me escuchan bien o necesito usar otro micrófono. La última vez, last time you couldn't hear me. I noticed it also in the recording, but it's super strange. Like, we always connected super good and it is supposed to work right now. So let me know. Let me know if it is working. If not, yep. If you can hear me well, everything is okay. And also, today's topic is how to start, right? How to study with the Welcome Started Park. Welcome, welcome back. Welcome back, not welcome starter. Yeah. So, how do you start with, uh, how do you start studying with that pack? It's very easy. Also, it, it helps you like step by step. You can start and we are going to talk about it the whole the whole live stream. But I also want to say hello to all of you. Um, and I want to I want to read your comments, to say hello back. Queremos darles las gracias a todos ustedes por ver un programa más con nosotros. Y por favor, una vez más, eh, no se olviden de darnos like. Don't forget to give us a like. Don't forget also to share this video with other learners. And also, don't forget to, um, well, to share it and tag us in the um, in the comment in in your stories in your Facebook. Yeah, share it there. Can you hear me well? Yeah, I can hear you well, Efra. Thank you. Thank you for for that. Uh, <laughs> <risa> okay. Este, bueno, uh, chicos, ¿qué tal mi querida familia de SpanishPod101.com? As Efra said, today we're going to learn about how to start learning with the Spanish with a free welcome pack. Okay, and, uh, well, we just want to say hi to our viewers right now on YouTube and also on Facebook. Because, yes, we do have something now on Facebook. No. We don't have anything right now on Facebook, but we do have some here. Um, Camila, un enorme, enorme saludo. Easy the Great también, Easy. un enorme saludo. Muchas gracias, Sonia. Qué bueno verte, Sonia. Muchas gracias por Sonia. estar aquí. Y el padrino, por supuesto. El padrino. Y el padrino. Tenemos a Steven Thomas. Eh, hola, hola, Steven. Steven, ¿cómo estás? Eh, Lexi, hola Lexi. Lexi, qué bueno, mira, ya siempre muy presente, muy puntual. Qué obole, Lexi, ¿cómo estás? Es cierto, mira, ya está, ahí está Madi. Madi, muchísimas gracias Maddie. por unirte a este live. Madi. Eh, tenemos a Steven que solo dice hola, pero dice, tengo que irme, entonces, nos vemos Steven, que te vaya, que te vaya bueno, bien. Bueno, nos vemos Steven. <risa> Laura, un saludo a Alemania y muchísimas gracias por vernos, aunque ya es un poquito tarde para ti. Pero Saludos a Laura. Muchísimas gracias. Eh, CM Lady, hola, CM hola, Lady. CM Lady. También ella muy puntual todo sí, el tiempo. Sí. Oye, CM Lady, ¿de dónde eres? ¿De dónde eres? Eh, sí, ¿de dónde eres, CM Lady? Yo no, yo no sé, ¿será sí, siempre me Japón? Lo, me lo he preguntado. ¿O Corea? Japón. Um, no sé. Japón, vamos, es ¿Corea? un misterio, vamos a ver de dónde, de dónde ¿Y qué nos hay? ¿Es, ¿Es de Estados Unidos? Iba a decir. <risa> oh, bueno, okay, lo okay. siento. Este, Armani, hola, hola Armani. Armani. Tenemos a eh, Salam de Algeria. Salam. Uh, no, Salam es como hola, ¿no? Salam. Ah, <risa> ok. <risa> sí. <risa> Pero entonces. Merúa, Merúa, Merúa. Merúa, Merúa, Salam. Sí. Este, Samad de Tailandia. Ay, sí es cierto, pues es Salam. Alguien me enseñó, me enseñó cómo saludar en árabe. Ah, sí, y es Salam. Sí, sí, y es Salam. Y a veces que, bueno, yo no sí. lo entendí porque decía Salam from Algeria, entonces yo pensé. Sé esa de Salam y también sé la de Inshallah. ¿Inshallah? Inshallah. Ah, ok, ¿No okay, es okay. Inshallah? ¿O es Inshallah? Creo que es Inshallah. Bueno. Creo que es Inshallah. Bueno, saludos hasta este... Argelia. Japón o Corea. Eh, International Traveler, no lo veo en Facebook. Um, sí, creo que yo, yo tampoco lo veo en Facebook. Ahorita vamos a ver. Pero ahorita qué bueno, vamos a qué ver. bueno que estás aquí con nosotros en la transmisión en YouTube. Entonces, sí. pues vamos a comenzar. Vamos a comenzar. So, first of all, you can download this welcome pack if you want to start learning Spanish right now. Maybe you heard all what we said just now and you understood nothing. Wow. 
here is how you can start you can download this welcome and start for free you can print it you can keep it with you and also um well it's it has six pdfs and well i will tell you more <laughs> here <laughs> in the whole presentation right but you can download it here in the description or in the description description on facebook once it is up there in facebook okay okay now we're on facebook ya estamos en Facebook ya, y estamos, saludos, ya saludos a Facebook todos. De Trudy. Trudy, muchos saludos también a Trudy. Gracias siempre por y... ser tan, tan, tan puntual. Y nos faltó, no podemos olvidar, por supuesto, a John, John R. John, ¿qué tal? Y muchísimas gracias, muchas gracias, John. Sí, sí. Mira, es de los Estados Unidos, güey, siempre. ¿Es, es <risa> de los Estados Unidos? <risa> ah, bueno. Bueno, okay, es que bueno. pensé. Pensábamos, es que por tu avatar pensábamos que era Japón sí, o es que Corea. Tiene cosas en Japón. <risa> Pero en bueno, Japón, ya. En este... japonés. Ok, ok, bueno. so let's start. And well. Ok. So how do you, how do I start learning? That's a good question. How do I start learning? Pues bueno, chicos, cuando empiezas a aprender cualquier cosa, Ajá. aprender los fundamentos el conocimiento básico, yes. es imprescindible, ¿ok? Cuando empiezas a aprender cualquier cosa, en this case Spanish, of course, aprender los fundamentos básicos es imprescindible. Mm -hmm. Here you have the translation, if you didn't understand it. When you start learning, uh -huh. anything, learning the fundamentals, the basic fundamentals is a must do. Ok. Ok. Eh... Okay, so what are these fundamentals like? You already know that you should start with the fundamentals. So what are them? What does it mean when you hear it? El ca en el caso del lenguaje, los fundamentos básicos son... ¿Cuáles son los fundamentos mm. básicos? So in the case of the language, the basic fundamentals are... Number one. El alfabeto, por supuesto. El alfabeto. Es importante para saber... Cómo se uh -huh. pronuncia y cómo se escribe un idioma. Sí, sí. Las palabras y frases básicas. Uh -huh. Y también algunas reglas gramaticales sencillas para los principiantes. A ver, Efra, tengo una pregunta para ti. A ver, dime. ¿Cuál es la letra que nosotros tenemos en español que no lo tienen en el alfabeto en inglés? Ah, uh, very easy, you guys. Ñ. <risa> la ñ. Y, y de hecho, este es un dato que quizás no sabías y que quizás no te importa, pero aún así te lo voy a decir. Y es que anteriormente también Ajá. teníamos la, otra letra. La... De hecho, nosotros en nuestra generación... We actually learned them. We needed to actually we learn I, this. We actually learned it. Actually, two more, two more, because it, it was... In the previous, it was three that Ajá. English didn't have. And now... It's only one that it's ñ, but in the past we learned double L. Ajá, ñ. Ajá, ñ. Actually, e and now ñ is like, you know, like the formal way for calling someone, right? The, the like, neutral way. Oh, neutral e way. E like, e there is a movement here I know in English you also have, like when people don't ident identify, you can. As, you, oh my. Uh -huh, you can. <laughs> so. Okay, so when people don't identify themselves as he or she, they use they, I guess. Mm -hmm. So in Spanish, something similar happens. So it, it is uh, ella or él, not neither of them. So we have ella. ella. But it is actually, a, it, is, it used to be a letter in the alphabet. Yeah, it was ella. ella. Double L. And we also had double R. Un doble ejemplo, R. ejemplo de palabra con ella. Ah, uh, 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 ella. <risa> Lluvia. <risa> Lluvia. Llorar. Pantalla. Uh, llano. Eh, llanura. <risa> ok, so... Cállate. <risa> Cállate. Ok, so we have the alphabet, words, uh, basic words, obviously, and grammar, basic grammar as well. And the beginner... And the phrases, words and phrases, and beginner grammar rules. I was like, <laughs> I read it twice. Ah, caray. Okay. So let's start with one. The alphabet. Ajá, uh -huh, el alfabeto. 
Bueno, pues el alfabeto, the alphabet. Esto es lo más importante y eh, lo que se enseña desde el primer día en la escuela, el sí. alfabeto. Bueno, pues el alfabeto te ayuda a dominar la lectura, Ajá. la escritura, el habla y la pronunciación. Ok. It helps you master reading, Ajá. writing, Ajá. speaking and pronunciation. Ok. <laughs> Some examples of how you'll find the alphabet in our free yeah. welcome pack. Like. Remember that you can download it here in the description. Ajá. It's for example, this F. letter, F. 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 So you see basically uh, la mayúscula, the capital letter, and you see la minúscula, And how it sounds, exactly. how it sounds with a word in English. With a word in English. So it is, in Spanish we say F, and you can find this word as in fork. F fork. No? F fork. 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 I know another one that starts with F. A ver. Fire. Pero en español. Ah, caray. <laughs> Fuego. 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 Eh, fiesta. Feo. Efra. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Falda. And we have the Spanish example, right? Like falda. 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 Okay. Notes here. So the F sound in the Spanish is equivalent to the F and PH sound in English, like elephant. Uh -huh. So you have the PH is elephant, right? Actually, Greek also has phi. Phi? What is German? Phi? Uh, Kartoffel. Yeah. Sí. O also. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, okay. Okay. So, well, there we have what we said before. Yeah. Even if this is actually a bit outdated, it used to be part of the alphabet of mm -hmm. the original alphabet. Like you would have to learn it. Exactly. So uh, that's why we have here the double L, uh, which it was pronounced as Efra said, Eje. Eje. And uh, like Shove. Right. Oh, the Show. English is <laughs> kind of it's like it's, it's the closer we got. <laughs> yeah, it's like shh. But it is like that in the also in the um, in the um, but in you the know well compact so you can identify the sounds. But actually no? in the Argentinian uh, Spanish Show. it is like yo shove 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 right? Shove sure. So Fantasia. here in Mexico it would be Papaya. more like llover. Yo. Yo llover. Yo. Exactly. Okay. Notes here between the U sound of the Y and the SHU in English. Okay, so it, it's, it sounds like this. Like the U sound or the Y and the SHU in English. <laughs> it sounds like... I know, it's like... Uh, I know. Between the... Uh, the um, U and the I mean, it, I, I, I need to, I know that I need to speak like this, but it's yeah. so hard when you need to start uh, remembering what it says. Okay. So, what are some basic words and phrases that you can find in the welcome pack as well? Uh, just a quick note, off topic, I feel like a singer when I have this. this. <laughs> Toda la noche rompemos. <laughs> ok, vamos. Vale. Palabras y frases básicas. Palabras y bases. Y, bra y frases. Para frases básicas. Frases básicas. Basic words and phrases. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, aprender palabras y frases básicas refuerza el alfabeto y te ayuda a leer, a escribir y a hablar. So, las palabras ayudan a reforzar el conocimiento. I, I bet you don't know very well that, uh, that verb, reforzar. Or yes, <laughs> is it close to English? Reforzar. 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 Yeah, like guess. with the double R, you mean? No, no, no. Like. Oh, refuerza. Close? Refuerza, refuerza. Reinforce. Ah. <laughs> well, you already similar. know. Reinforce. So, eso te ayuda a hablar, a leer y a escribir. Let's see the translation in case you didn't know. So, learning basic words and phrases reinforces the alphabet and gets you reading, writing, and speaking. So. Yeah. So some of the examples that you can find in the welcome pack are live events, for example, felicidades. 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 
congratulations, or even feliz año nuevo. Feliz año feliz nuevo. Año nuevo. Happy New Year. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz... A uh, question, question. How do you say... Uh, Is this a joke? Te felicito. Uh, te felicito solo como te felicito. Uh -huh, like, te felicito por... Por esto. Uh, por tu video. Te felicito por tu video. Es como... Congratulations on your video. Ah, sí. ¿Sí? Te felicito. Yo te... Felicito. Ah, pero no sé cómo, pues, de, de, no sé si se usa el verbo. No sé, ¿tú sabes? I congratulate you. <ríe> no sé. Uh, no, no me, suena, me suena como muy traducido it literal, sounds, ¿no? It sounds weird. Yo diría yeah. congratulations on. Bien, vamos a seguir. Otro es de small talk. Entonces, así como recuerda una plática breve cuando quieres romper el hielo, cuando quieres hablar sobre un tema como habitual, uh -huh. como el clima pues también tenemos este small talk. Sí. Entonces... Uh, some phrases that you will find to, to create or to have a small talk. The first one is... Te ves muy bien. Te ves muy bien. Te ves muy bien. Te ves muy bien. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. You can even add a cute word, right? Like, te ves muy bien, cielito. Uh, like for your, for te your ves girlfriend, muy, right? Muy, mm, te oh. ves muy bien. Te ves muy bonita, cielito. Okay. Or something like that, a cute word. Que te diviertas. Ah, that's something, uh, that's something many students, many Spanish students don't know how to say. Like, have fun, they, sometimes they say ten diversión. Ah, ¿sí? Do, uh, ¿Te han dicho ten diversión? Ten diversión, yes. Like, have fun? Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> suena, pero suena, o, o something good, like, good. tienes, tienes diversión. Mm. Like, I don't have it. Like, it's, it's not here. Tienes diversión. Tienes diversión, and it's... Yeah, so in, in case you want to say this, like, have fun, you have can fun, say... Have fun, guys. Que te diviertas. Uh -huh. Or if it's for plural, then you can say... Que, que se, se diviertan. Recuerden que divertirse es reflexivo. Exacto. Te diviertes, me divierto, ellos se, se divierten. divierten. But in this case, it is... Uh, Subjunctive. <laughs> ah, exacto. Que te diviertas. Que te diviertas. That's a hope. Okay, bro. Okay, so don't forget you can download right now this welcome pack that we've been talking about the whole time. Uh, as you can see, you can you can download one of them is the writing system, or uh, another one is culture tips, like some phrases that you can say and they are acceptable in the culture uh, oh, and also they don't sound like directly translated from English like it happens all the time and also you can uh, you can say you can download Spanish core words we have also that PDF for free so download it now okay oh uh, one do you want to read some comments sí claro me gustaría por supuesto entonces a ver vamos a ver Rebecca Cupid whiskey me gusta, me gusta ese, ese apellido. Rebeca Cupid Whisky. Cupid Whisky. Eh, hola, guys. Hola, Rebeca. Muchísimas, muchísimas gracias. Google dice que, of course, I cannot read it, pero quiere decir Chris. Um, no lo sé, no, no nos ha dicho ah, CM Lady. CM Lady Puede ser que la C Chris? sea de Chris. Eh? Ah. Ya hemos descubierto la identidad secreta de CM Lady. ¿Cristina? Eh. Mm, no sé. Well, I don't know. It's because it says Lady, ¿no? Uh, muy bien, muy bien. Someday. This is a mystery. Someday. <laughs> uh, Princess Warrior, I really want to learn. You came to the right place, Princess Warrior, and don't forget to download here your welcome pack. Uh -huh. uh, ba, 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 ba. Take notes, guys. Sí, Armani, es correcto. Uh, take notes here. Toma notas. Uh, ba, ba. It's like the yes in measurement. Like just after, right? Z yeah, Z kind of. Yeah. The double L. Measure. Yeah. Measurement. Lle llévate. Llévate. Llévate a Diego. Llévate. Take llévate. Diego with you because I can, uh, I can put it put it out put it out with him. No, ¿cómo es? Put, the, to put out to to tolerate. Tolerate. But to put there is a phrase. Oh, uh, put up with. Ah, uh, yeah. I cannot put up with him anymore. So, <laughs> llévate a Diego. Take okay, Diego okay, with okay. you. Uh, perfecto. Pues bueno, eh, los demás chicos, um, congratulate you for 
Ok, entonces podemos decir congratulate you for. Uh, Creo que sí es Gregory. correcto entonces, ¿no? Congratulate you for. Gregory, saludos. Perfecto, muy bien. Uh, pa, pa, ra, ra, y Gregory, gracias. Ok, tenemos yes, algo aquí en it Facebook. Is, it is actually a, a standard Spanish. Es correcto. Mm -hmm. Sí, esto, esto no es solo algo mexicano, yeah, esto es algo estándar. Michael Erwin, hola, ¿cómo están ustedes? Michael. Muy bien, Michael, muchas gracias por estar aquí. Ingo, que enguyen. Oh, someday I promise I will learn how to pronounce Tengo, correctly that. Ahora tenemos dos misterios. El primero es si siempre y se llama Chris o Cristina. Y si Ingo, que enguyen, hemos estado pronunciando mal su nombre todo and este tiempo. Maybe it is like Gwen. Gwen. Or no. I wish they could send like notes here in the comments so I could actually be corrected so I can pronounce her name correctly. Yeah, and also we we will know if they are actually listening to us, like listening yeah. to us. Like, <laughs> like they don't play the like the video and they leave. Huh? Yeah, it's like, like they it's, are actually just, watching they it. They just leave a comment. It's like, yeah, it's uh, okay. I already did it. Okay. Bueno, basic grammar. Vamos con la eh, siguiente parte que es la gramática básica. La gramática básica. Ajá. La gramática básica. La gramática básica. <coughs> Las reglas gramaticales. The, like, is it better like no, this? Like, put it like that. Ahí está. Is it better like this? Sí. Ok. Las reglas gramaticales básicas te permiten Ajá. comprender cómo funciona el idioma y crear tus propias oraciones con las palabras que has aprendido. Ajá. Basic grammar rules allow you to understand how the language works and create your own sentences Ajá. with the words you've learned. Okay. Por eso es importante la gramática, chicos. A algunos no les gusta. Hay, de hecho, algunos sistemas que dicen que no debes de aprender gramática, aunque eso no es 100% cierto. So... Saludos, Kyle Anders. Entonces, sentence patterns to say, like, for example, I'm from, I'm from. Uh -huh. So, you can say, soy de plus place. Yeah. Okay. In this case, let's learn some grammar very fast. Like, we don't need to add yo. Like, yo is not really necessary unless you want to emphasize. Like, él es de, de Chiapas, yo soy de Oaxaca. Like, yo. Pero, uh, I mean, only if necessary. But it is not. Because the conjugation already has implied the subject. So you don't really need to say all the time, yo tengo, ella tiene, eh, ella es, yo soy. Uh, mm -hmm. Or any other like, verb, like, yeah. uh, yo trabajo. Exactly. Sí, yo me despierto. Yo me despierto. Like, you, you don't need it like in English because the verb already has the subject, already has the I in it. And you just need to remember, just here as a quick tip, and this is just a free tip, guys. Uh, the only cases where you actually need to say the subject is when you emphasize um, or when it is unclear. Remember that the conjugation between él, ella, and usted is the same. So, in that case, if you're talking about one of your friends, you have a female friend and a male friend, then uh -huh. you want to actually uh, say who you're talking about. Yeah, for example, uh, tiene un gato. Yeah, it would um, be like who? Like quién? Like ah. Maria or Pepe. Yeah, ella. Ella tiene un gato. Oh, okay. So, since there is only one ella, the other one is él. Yeah. You make it clear star, uh, crystal clear. Crystal clear. Crystal clear. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um... For example, another sentence pattern is to say, I have plus an object. Uh-huh. So, in this case, you have tengo plus the object. Like, tengo una pluma. Tengo una pluma. Tengo una mm -hmm. pluma. Mm -hmm. Once again, note that the conjugation tengo is, is, um, is particularly as exclusive. It is exclusive for, for yo. So, you don't need to say yo. Yo yeah. tengo. You will never say like, él tengo. <laughs> yeah. Or nosotros tengo. Nosotros. So it's only like yo. Therefore, yeah. you can omit yo. Okay, so one, one tip that we can give you tonight is domina todos los consejos, conceptos. Domina todos los conceptos básicos y todo lo demás será más fácil de entender. Domina los conceptos básicos y todo lo demás será fácil de entender. 
So master the basics and everything else gets easier to learn. Right? Así es, Efra. Thank you, Diego. <laughs> Thank you, Diego. Okay, now let's proceed with the free, once again, the free Spanish Bowl 101.com welcome pack. Yep. Y bueno, a ver, ahora sí, vámonos otra vez. Para ayudarte a comenzar en el camino correcto, uh -huh. to help you get started on the right track, we have created the Spanish Bowl 101.com welcome pack. Ok. Entonces, creamos este paquete justo para iniciar con un buen hábito de estudio. Mm -hmm. You just need uh, sign in. You just need to, uh, yeah, it, it takes less than one minute. So you just need to um, create your account, uh -huh. uh, create you your password. Remember that you will receive a confirmation email. That's correct. And it will be yours. And with the welcome pack, you get a collection of six cheat sheets. Six. Six. Do you know how to say three in American uh, sign language? It should be like this. Right? Or I like this. No, this is the German one. The, the German one? I, uh, I don't the know. The is German it? sign language. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Oh, well, I think this is the And same. what is the Mexican one? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just craft knowledge from my yeah, students. From like, like, uh, okay. uh -huh. I will just say like this, maybe. I'm from movies. I'm from movies. What, like this? Tres? Okay. I do it like this. Like, oh, like what? this. What? Yeah, three. I cannot do that, man. Or... I do it uno, dos, tres. Yeah, like this. Like this. Or is it like When that? I ask for tacos, I'm like, like this. Okay, anyway. Well, okay, so, <laughs> of six cheat sheets. Well, uh, you have the Spanish writing system, uh -huh. uh, conversational patterns, and also Spanish grammar included in each one of these cheat sheets. Yeah. Okay? Like here? Uh, do you remember how to say cheat sheets in Spanish? Acordeones. Los acordeones. Acordeones. The honest, which are also an instrument. This one that so you you push it and it makes a sound and yeah. you stretch it and then it's a it's a wind <laughs> instrument, right? It's a wind instrument, right? Like it's like accordion. the instrument uh, that sounds in the song. Llévame en tu bicicleta. Lleva, llévame en tu bicicleta. Sí. Yo pensaba en Julieta Venegas. Ah. Y en Intocable también. Sí. Delicado y espera. Y ahí sale. Ajá. Okay. okay, so <laughs> also it has included the Spanish key phrases, some Spanish key phrases, uh, Spanish core words, que también es importante, y Spanish culture tips. Yep. Entonces también tips culturales. Uh -huh. Entonces la pregunta que puedes hacerte en este momento, so the question that you might be asking yourself is, ¿cómo lo puedes obtener? How can you get it? How can you get it? Well, you just need to go to SpanishPod101.com slash welcome dash pack. Uh -huh. Once again, that's SpanishPod101.com slash welcome dash pack. Yep. Or just go to the uh, description, to the link in the description down there on, on YouTube and also on Facebook. But we also know that in our audience right now, we have people who are not truly beginners. So say it in Spanish. Tienes toda la razón, Efra. Sabemos sí, ¿para que qué? hay... <risa> tienes, wait, tienes wait. toda la razón, pero yo te lo digo en inglés. Pero like tienes... I'm, ah, I'm saying it that to you. Maybe you should... Maybe you know, like in Spanish. Ok, <risa> okay este... Sabemos que hay chicos y chicas, por supuesto, en la audiencia que Ajá. no son principiantes. Entonces, eh, ¿no eres principiante? Bueno, pues puedes compartir este link, puedes compartir este link con sí. tus amigos o con alguien que quiere aprender español. Alguien que quiere aprender español. Exacto. ¿Conoces a alguien? Seguramente, todo el mundo conoce a alguien que quiere aprender español. Entonces mm -hmm. puedes darle este link y decirle, oye, ¿sabes qué? Están regalando seis acordeones y tiene Ajá. esto y esto y esto y esto. O seis, seis hojas de PDF. Seis hojas de PDF. Ah, ah, seis PDFs, en pocas <risa> palabras. A ver, vamos a leer algunos comentarios. So, wait there, don't go. We're going to say, say hello to go. you. Diego, what with your <risa> tree? I'm so sorry. I, I just read a comment. I'm so sorry. <coughs> okay. So, a CM lady reveal the secret. A ver. Dice. Espera, espera, espera. Uh, hmm. Eh... He only said, 
LOL. Okay. Yeah, that's that's everything. He yeah. or she? LOL. <laughs> Uh, just, uh, those are Japanese letters. Uh, kurisu is a pronunciation. Ah. Okay, so we are. Everyone is helping with the with this mystery. With this mystery, with the riddle. With the riddle. Okay. Uh, the mystery is still alive. Yeah, I mean, now I'm seriously like, I I I, I want to know Maddie. if it is a Chris or a Christina. So que it's nunca definitely lo sabremos. Chris. So Janet is saying it's definitely Chris, but could also be Chris with K. With K. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you, good. Janet. Saludos también. Everyone is helping, so thank you. Saludos a Janet. Um, parara, tengo un bolígrafo, dice CM Lady. Maybe that's a clue. Maybe that's a clue. Tengo un bolígrafo. Tengo un bolígrafo. It's like in these escape rooms, like when they give you like these clues, it's like tengo un bolígrafo. You need to actually. Uh, yeah, that. we we recently went to an escape room, which you guys should go with us. It's super funny. <laughs> and the escape rooms here in Mexico are in English, like crazy, right? Okay. Okay, okay, well, okay. Um, que chistoso, what the Efra? What the Efra? Me gusta. What the Efra? So that's okay. chistoso. So, Diego, what with your tree? Oh, like this? It's, or like it's this? Pretty, no, this one or is like more this. common. Which one is better? Obviously, this one. It's like you go with the taquero and you say, hey, tres, tres al pastor, like this. Ok, um, vamos. Ok, mira, eh, por este pues... comentario me reí, dice, Efra pasa el, el, el welcome pack. Pasa el... <risa> dale, dale. Me gustó, me gustó, te ganaste un 10 por ese comentario, te ganaste un 10, ok. Ok. Um, the, the instrument is also called accordion in English, right? Uh, sí, no, es el mismo, el acordeón. acordeón? El acordeón. Ah, oh, bueno. Uh, very good. So, pa, 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 me gusta mucho Julieta Venegas, es... Sí. Sí, sí, sí. Es, es muy buena. Es muy buena, Julieta Venegas. Uh, very good. Mm -hmm. um, what else? What else? Eres para mí. Dice CM Lady, ellos son demasiado divertidos. Me lo ha dicho el viento. We have another clue there. Ah, ok. Tiene un bolígrafo. Y, y piensa, dice que ellos son, piensa ellos que somos son, divertidos. Ellos son divertidos, pero no dice quién específicamente. Ah, dice ellos, es plural, ellos. Es Ok, anyways, uh, muchísimas gracias a todos los que nos están viendo y vamos uh, a proseguir con el summary. summary. Yeah, I'm so sorry. We already took five minutes more of your time. We're so sorry. How do I start learning? Ok, how do you start learning? Well, you have to start with the fundamentals, right? And then <laughs> you go... Effort? And then, so and then you go with the alphabet, which is basic to read, to pronounce, and then with basic words and phrases. Why? Because they help you reading, they help you talking, uh, and also remember the the alphabet. Okay. Basic grammar, because it's, it is important to start to put together all the words and the verbs that you uh, that you learn. Uh -huh. And remember that um, verbs imply the subject already. Exactly. That's one of the tips that you can find in these uh, cheat sheets. But there are more. The I, free I welcome más, back. Eh, consejos. Más consejos aquí. Yeah, this is only the beginning. We didn't want to give you everything you will see there. Yeah, because otherwise you will be overwhelmed. So, uh, anyways, the last part was the free Spanish Ball 101 welcome pack. ¿Cómo lo puedes obtener? How can you get it? How okay. can you get it? Yeah. Yeah. How can you get it? Uh-huh. Okay. So, and finally, guys, once again, remember that you can get your free, and once again, this lesson was about uh, how to get your free welcome pack mm -hmm. uh, in SpanishPod101.com because this way you will find a quick start learning pack. And okay. we also told you what it contains. So, uh -huh. uh, please, uh, you can get it in the link down below or if you are on Facebook here right next to me. Right. Look, Diego, we are at the airport. The next, Oh, in the new airport, because you know that Mexico no, now has I a new airport. I don't want that new airport. Me neither, but we have a new airport We now. have a new one. Yeah. Uh, well, hopefully someday we will be on one, right? And the good thing here, Efra, is that I live kind of close to both. Uh, I know you don't live. No, well, like, you don't like live 30 minutes from to one. The uh, one. I live five minutes from one and 30 minutes to the other one. But yeah, kind of. minutes? 30 minutes. No way. Yeah, in the highway. Okay, but minutes. also Mexican jokes for the next one. Like, they are very good to understand 
culture, like jokes in general, they help you to understand culture, also to learn new expressions. And I don't know, but I know it happened to you sometime that you try to hear uh, uh, people talking between them and joking around and laughing. And that's the moment where you understand the less. So we are going to give you some expressions that are usually used uh, for jokes. <risa> ok, Jeffra, ya Está bien, okay. gracias eh, Ok, guys, muchísimas gracias a todos Gracias Y eh, de verdad, un enorme, enorme, enorme saludo a todos uh, Y usualmente hablamos más español Pero esta vez estaba dirigido a principiantes Entonces, pues sí, solamente quería aclarar eso pues bueno, un saludo a El Padrino, CM Lady, quedamos todavía con El Misterio, vamos a revelarlo Chris. en el próximo episodio. Y tenemos a John R., muchísimas gracias a Marvin, a Maddie, muchas gracias Maddie, por estar muchas en, gracias. Este, en este live. Irving, John, eh, nos Janet, vemos, por John. Supuesto, Janet, Easy the Great, Nikki, Easy Nikki the Great, también, Nikki. y todos, todos allá, muchísimas y... gracias. Sí, nos vemos, y sal chao. Pizza, en chao. Facebook, Pizza, chao. en Facebook. Y en Facebook, por supuesto, tenemos a Ngoc en Nguyen. Y eh, Asman, que es, acaba Asman, de llegar. Asman hasta Malasia. Eh, Trudy, también, por supuesto. Y Ajá. eso es todo. Y listo. Hasta luego, Chao, chicos. Chayito. 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 Another way to say goodbye. Chayito. Chayito. And also the way to call.